Hickok 45, welcome to the compound for a big game hunt. Got a 4570, that ought to. So, guess what I dug out? The old guide gun. I was looking actually for something else and I ran across it. And man, I haven't shot this thing in uh, so long. Had it over 20 years and it's an old JM model, of course. Uh, just, just a great gun, the guide gun. Started it all, all these shorts. Uh, Marlin, big four, you know, lever guns. So, anyway, I like this rifle, and I thought it is uh, definitely a good one for a big game hunt. So, let's do it. All right. Now, it just holds. Uh, the only limiting factor on this, the, the negative, is it holds just four in the magazine. That's okay. We'll make do. And we'll just put one in the chamber. We start on the gong, on the big game hunt. There we go. Now, some of you new folks, on a big game hunt, we pop the gong a couple of times, or start it and wrap it up, but all we shoot are animals. It's a big game hunt. We've got about 22, I think, animals out there. Turkeys, pigs, buffalo, bison, uh, rams, you know, it, that's it, bighorn sheep. So that's what we're going for. All right, let's start down there in the lower right corner and get us a pig. <sighs> All right, knocked him off, didn't it? <laughs> hey, guys, a heavy turkey. All right, now I need to load him up again, and I've got some ammo right here on my belt. I am ready. <laughs> I wish it held about eight rounds, like my uh, 1886 does. But, you know, for hunting, that sort of thing, four rounds is probably enough. Especially for 4570. I'll put one in the chamber and that'll give us five. All right. That's okay, though. It makes me take a little break. All right, we'll move on across. I love the way it rolls them. <laughs> I'll get that turkey right in the middle. Uh, I knew I was off. I, I uh, let the trigger break while I was too low. Another round, like that piggy. All right. Big old 4570, it really takes them down. Really takes them down. 405 grains of lead, hard cast lead. That gets their attention, as you notice, right? Ugh. One more. Glad y'all came out today. This is one of my favorite uh, endeavors, big game hunting. You know, this type of big game hunting. Can you imagine how many people click on these videos just so they can hate? Ugh, big game hunter, killing animals. They, they open it up and they're just starting to type all kinds of hate messages and they realize what it is. And then they're confused, I'm sure. All right, let's get that turkey over there. Oh, on the right. Yeah, it's really frustrating when you want to hate somebody and uh, you have a hard time finding a good reason to hate them. <laughs> All right, you turkeys in the middle, it's your turn. Uh oh. Rings the bell. <laughs> I love it. Those turkeys are pretty heavy, some of those, and they're uh, a little bit frustrating to, to get down sometimes when you're shooting at them with, uh, I don't know, even a 44 Magnum or something, 357 Magnum. But when this 405 grain slug 
slams into them. Uh, you know, they don't have much choice, do they? All right. The last turkey down that row. Piggy that they're after. Oh, this is a good one, right? Yeah. Yep, a little low. All right, piggy on the left. <laughs> Hitting pretty hard. Love that sound. Love that sound. Am I going to have enough ammo? I hope so. All right. Whew, that barrel's getting warm. Too much shooting. I shouldn't be doing this much shooting. Yeah, really. Of course, I only do it for you all. I don't really want to do it, you know. All right. I just make myself. All right. Let's take out that pig in the middle of the field. Piggy on the left. Oh. Oh, come on. A little more distance. I don't know if I'm going low. I think I went right on that one. Oh, that felt good. What's wrong with me? I held up a fair amount higher on that one. That big old round was dropping and when it got out, out that far. All right, I discovered the issue. Got to know where to hold. These are not like uh, barn burner rounds. They're, they're plenty fast. All right. All right, I'll have to go and get some more ammo the second I think I'm out, right? Oh, no, we got more. Okay. All right, I'm going to get that turkey first. <laughs> okay, now i got to remember to hold high enough. Boom. <laughs> I love it. Smart Alec. Ah, those are uh, kind of leaning forward. So we'll try them again. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to get out the heavier hitters. Woo, barrel's hot. Those two over there, they are known to, to give me trouble. All right. This Federal 300 grain. This is a fairly warmish round. I'll tell you what. I will change my point of impact a little bit, so I better put four in. I might uh, do a little missing. I think I, I think I hold right on. Uh, we'll find out. We'll get them though. All right. All right. To the rescue. Some warmer ammo. Got to hit it. I don't know, I think it was going high. <laughs> or low. It's going low. Okay. We'll bring her up then. There we go. Okay. So that was the point of impact and point of hold wasn't all that different. But it hit a little harder. So I'll be confident. Oh no, I need two anyway. I'll put two in, one for the buffalo, the bison, and one for the gong. I'll be confident that I'm going to just need these two. All right. Sure, I'll hold up high enough. Yeah. 
Thought I touched it. All right. <laughs> I had to load one in there after all. Well, that's okay. We got them. We got them. Okay, Gong, Mr. Gong. <laughs> yep. One of my favorite endeavors, big game hunts here. Knocking down all the animals. I don't think I left any standing. Struggled a little bit. Just needed to get out a little more horsepower. And that's one thing I usually have somewhere, a little extra horsepower, <laughs> either a bigger gun or more powerful round somewhere. So glad you came out to enjoy the big game hunt with us. It's, uh, it's just a lot of fun, yeah, uh, really is. I enjoy this firearm. I always enjoy a lever gun. These old JM Marlins uh, are just, just fine old rifles. And this is a handy little gun, guide gun it's called. And it uh, guided me through pretty well. So, got all the game. That's the main thing. Appreciate your support. Glad you came out today. And, uh, you know, you watched. You were quiet. You watched. You didn't interfere. And I appreciate that. Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.